you can hang paper art by using paper clamps. Uh, what you do is put the artwork in the clamp and then uh, hang it uh, on the noose. You have uh, paper clamps in all shapes, sizes and colors. And uh, the one thing you want to check is uh, that it has a noose <laughs> because this is a good clamp, but uh, I cannot hang it on a nail or a screw. Another thing you want to check is uh, that it uh, is not uh, too tight. So for example, this uh, little cute clamp is, uh, could probably damage uh, my paper. Uh, I like uh, the minimalistic one, the silver colored, uh, which is what I'm going to try if it works with the artwork. What I want to do now is uh, put all the, the papers that I want to hang on the floor and uh, choose which clam uh, that I have that I want to use. And uh, I tried uh, the big one to see uh, how I like that. And then uh, the smaller size. Mm. I, I also tried uh, a, a pink one. I don't think I would ever use a pink one. But sometimes you're surprised, you know, when you put it on the artwork, it, it could have worked like as a contrast with the black and white picture. Uh, this was the clam that I was expecting to use. It is a silver clam. I like it because it's more minimalistic and uh, um, yeah, I thought it would fit with the topic of the, of the aftermath. But actually, I'm going to use the, the golden colored uh, clam. And uh, why am I going to use this one? Uh, for two reasons. Uh, it's not only the black and white picture. Here you can see it also has a colored picture of the original sculpture. And also this paper is more yellow than the, than the other papers in the series. So I think if I use the, the golden uh, paper clam, I kind of bring it all, uh, all together. So it's kind of a connecting uh, element uh, to, the, to, the, uh, to the work. And um, uh, I also know now by putting them on the floor and uh, putting the clamps uh, on top of the paper, I also know, now know where I want to uh, position the clamp. And uh, in this case, I'm going to position it exactly on this line um, so that all the clamps from all the papers uh, will be hanging in, in the same uh, position because I do want to hang them as precise as possible. Uh, so as a preparation, I open a clamp, so I only have to put them uh, in on the paper. And uh, I know that I want to hang them five centimeters of the edges, but of course it depends uh, for your artwork where you want to where you want to place the clamps. And maybe you also only want to place uh, one clamp. I, I want to place two clamps on each each side, one clamp. Um, if the artwork is too heavy and you use only one clamp, it could, uh, yeah, in the worst case, rip your paper or make it uh, not look flat on the wall. It could could be, you know, like a little bit bumpy, I guess how it's called. Uh, so I already placed uh, one clamp. Uh, what, shall, what I will do is measure the five centimeters, uh, which is almost two inches. I, I'm working a little bit stupid now because I want to show it on the video. But um, if you have a bigger table, table of course, that's more, uh, more easy. You really want the edge of the clam to, to hit the paper. This one should really connect to the paper. I'm a little bit rough with the artwork. I don't think you should place the papers on top of each other. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I have no excuse. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't do that. Let's see if you, if you would have uh, like pastel charcoal or, or things like this, this you really should not do because by placing the papers on the top of each other, you would totally smudge the drawing. So that would be a disaster. So definitely don't do that. And uh, one more thing, 
make sure that all your nails uh, are, are the same uh, so that you really have a uniform uh, looking uh, setting when you hang everything. Pretty good, no? Yes. <laughs> 